Amanda, um, Gordon Brown's proposals regarding care for the elderly, is it going to, is your council okay with that? I don't think in, in terms of, is it our council okay with it? I'm not entirely sure that there are, are any councils that are particularly um, in favour of it. And I also think that this isn't just a political issue in terms of council saying we can't do this. Um, the local government association is also questioning it, um, as is the association of directors for adult social care. So there is a there is a feeling that it just isn't deliverable. Um, it's not thought through properly, and also it's not clear where the responsibility is is coming from in terms of who will fund this. Do you think it's something that he's simply they have uh, the Labour have simply got this on the agenda with the general election in mind? I think politicians do a lot of things with elections in mind. I think it's something we'd like to aspire to, without a shadow of a doubt. Everybody out there will say that we would like to see adult social care free at the point of delivery, um, in the same way as, as the health service. And there are an awful lot of people outside who won't know that adult social care isn't free at the point of delivery. But I do think that it's very, very difficult at this point in time to to look at how this is, is going to be funded. And the, the most important thing is our residents in Thurrock, are they, are they going to understand the system? Will they understand why certain people are being funded and why they're not? Will they understand which parts of it are funded and which parts aren't? Um, and also, will they understand um, when the council comes to set a budget that if the government are expecting councils to pick this up, as well as the other services that we're going to have to pick up, as well as the efficiency savings that we're going to have to make in a time of when finances are extremely tight, actually will the residents out there understand that some of their other services are going to have to go to pay for this. So it isn't clear and it isn't simple. So to let people know, when, when Westminster and um, Labour develop a policy like this and propose a policy, how much is it filtered down to, to a local council, a local borough, to your department? My frustration with this is that we had a, a green paper which went out to consultation and proposed a number of options and a number of ways forward. And we took that on board, we took that out to consultation in good faith and we took it out to some of our um, very vocal and very active older people's groups to comment on. That came through, that's fine and we've done that. So to have this kind of come out of nowhere in the Queen's speech, um, when it doesn't appear to be part of a wider strategy, um, I think can be seen as a little bit cynical yet. Yeah.